Welcome to US Criminals. Get ready for some wild stories as we explore three cases of dumb criminals resisting arrest, but we need your help. Subscribe, like, and share our videos to spread the word and join the fun. If you like this video, press 1. On December 9, 2022, when a Red Bank Police Department officer apprehended a wanted woman named Elizabeth Henry. While on patrol, the officer observed Elizabeth walking along a sidewalk. Despite the officer's orders, she disregarded them, leading to her arrest. Later, a female officer, upon receiving a call, spotted Elizabeth. Recognizing her from a previous case, the officer inquired about her activities and residence. Despite the polite demeanor of the police officer, Elizabeth refused to provide any information. Even when the officer offered a reward of $1 million for information, Elizabeth still denied it. What's up, girl? Somebody called on you. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, where'd you go, over lunch break? Uh, not yet, no. Where'd you walk into? Was I walked into the office thinking it was for loans, and they told me it wasn't, so she just got, like, upset. I don't know what her problem was. Oh, all right. Liz? Yeah. Elizabeth what? What was it? Henry. Elizabeth Henry? Yeah. Liz, what's your updated address for now? You don't have one, honey? No. All right, well, if I was going to mail you a million dollars, where would you want me to mail to? I wouldn't accept it. You wouldn't accept a million dollars? I mean, like, no catches. I don't like gifts. No catches, no nothing, no anonymous. What do you mean we get from me? If I had to mail you something really important, all right, let me put it this way. If I had to mail, mail you a court date so you didn't get a warrant. Afterward, the officer learned that she was residing in a shelter, but refrained from disclosing any details. Following this, the officer informed her about a warming center where she could seek accommodation, but she expressed contentment with her current situation. What shelter were you in last time? Where else? Asbury? Or Longbridge? Okay. What happened? You're not there no more? What happened? You just left? Did they kick you out? Or? And we have, uh, like, warming centers and stuff here now. So, if we needed a place to stay, they, uh, I'm pretty sure they accept women now. So, and it's right here in town. Elizabeth told the officer that the court date she got from the previous warrant was on the 22nd. After that, she presented the warrant she received from the Ocean Township Police Station, but she wasn't cooperating with the officer. You just had a court date? I'm sorry, the bus, I can't hear you. Huh? You have a court date on the 22nd? Okay. All right, let me see this. So you were arrested and then... All right, then you don't got to show us anything. If, if you don't want to show me anything to help you, you ain't got to show us me. But right now they're checking you, they're confirming a warrant that you have out of Ocean Township, just so you know. Yeah. So if that form that's in your pocket right now says that you shouldn't have that warrant and you want to show it to me so I can maybe help figure out why Ocean Township is wrong, that's fine. But if you know it's not right and you're just rifling through papers to get me to you know, be distracted, then that's fine too. Ignoring the officer's commands, Elizabeth began to wander around attempting to make a call. Eventually, the officers handcuffed her and escorted her into the police vehicle. As you step off that sidewalk, I'm putting you in handcuffs. For what? I asked you three times. I asked you three times to stay on the sidewalk. But I just told you, a uh, direct order. I asked you to stay over here on the sidewalk. All right. I'm not That's enough. Listen, I'm on the phone. I'm making a phone call. You're under arrest. You're under arrest. I'm not under arrest. I'm making a phone call to find out why you're harassing me. You're under arrest. I'm making a phone call. Listen, if you don't put your arms on your back, you're getting charged with this. Stop. Put your hands behind your back. Put my phone down. Let me put my phone down. I'll put your phone down. Stop. 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 Put my phone down. Stop. Yep. I'll get your stuff, don't worry about it. Guys, what matters? You got one? Yep. Anything on you is going to hurt me? Stick no. your hold me. Yeah, like my about yep, you, right? we got you. Okay. I'm going to get your other stuff. Elizabeth Henry was accused of obstructing the law, resisting arrest, and showing contempt for the court. On November 20th, 2022, in Longview, Texas, Officers were dispatched to a hotel regarding a man going around knocking on people's doors and engaging in various other activities. The hotel manager requested that he be criminally trespassed from the property. When officers asked the man to gather his belongings, he began to act irrationally and refused to comply. He was eventually pepper sprayed and arrested. Upon searching the man's room, officers found an AK-47 lying on the bed. 
Officers later located the man in the hotel lobby and explained to him that the hotel staff did not want him knocking on other doors. They informed him that the business had the authority to criminally trespass him if they wished. The man then attempted to explain his side of the story. I would just make sure was that okay. I got you. Yeah, you good. You, you want to up, you want to run up there with me? Make sure you get up there. Yeah, I just I just want to go to sleep. I just want to make sure that I wasn't being kicked out or. Yeah, I, I think they're just not wanting you to be knocking on other people's doors just because it's 4.30. Yeah, I'm, you know not, I mean? I'm not going to be doing that, but I, I just want to make sure everything's good, money good, like, I don't know what I'm losing here. Like, all I know is, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So listen, on a trespass, it's a business, all right? The business in the state of Texas can criminally trespass you whenever they want for whatever reason they want. They don't even have to tell me the reason that they want to criminally trespass. Yeah. All right? I'm talking about the individuals. So you got to be criminally yeah. trespassed. You understand what that means? Yeah. If, if you come back here, you run the risk of going to jail. Right? Yeah, I understand that, okay. but that's just the honest. I'm, I'm not even going to say nothing because I just want to make sure that everything is good. Just, give me your side of the story, man. Just give me a rundown. What's going on? I just want, I just want a reason, a good reason to stay here. Yes. Gotcha. Just saying, I can't. And then, if it's his words against mine, oh right. well, he wins. The man informed the officers that he had some belongings in the room. The cop informed him that he could retrieve his belongings before departing. When they arrived at his room, the man suddenly attempted to close the door. The cops cautioned him against doing so. I need cold bag wet. The key card to the hotel room? Yes. That's their property. What's my property? I own things. You, they just, you said you got your ID back? No, that's not all the what else, in this room. What else do you have? I have things in that room, from that room. Okay. I, I own things from that room, a bag, a whole bag. You still got it up there? A whole property bag, yes. Let's go still get up it. There. Let's go get it. You can get your property out of the room. All right. Let's go do that, and then you'll get what you need. I don't need to be outside with you. Yes, but I need, I need to know what to get. I'll go with you. You know what's yours. Right, come on. He's right. I do know what's mine. You know what I mean? No, you don't have to. Yeah, because you're being you trespassed no, from the you property. Have to. Because then you're going to lock no, the door behind me, and then you're not going to no, get out. No, you don't have to. I'm, I'll be okay. right here. I'll be right here. Thank you. Stop trying to close the door on me, man. I'm not... I'm not even I'm looking not, at what you're doing. I'm not. I'm not even looking at what you're doing. But I'm But saying, this door is staying open. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh. Yes, it is. Oh. I'm telling you right now, this door is staying I open. Can, I can close the door. No, you're not closing this door. This door is staying open. You're good. You're the one making it a big deal. The man abruptly became confrontational and began advancing towards the police officers. Despite their warnings not to approach, as he continued to ignore their commands, they were compelled to use pepper spray on him. Subsequently, they apprehended him for criminal trespass. You know all this stuff about us and the law, why don't you come work for us then? All right, get the f out of my room. Step back, get your stuff. It? Get back. What is it? Ooh. Stop. Are you good? Are you going to keep resisting? The officers then escorted him to the police cruiser. He became physically aggressive again with the officers. After calming him down, they placed him inside the cruiser. Shortly after, a medical team arrived at the scene and started to tend to the man. I don't want you to let me die. I'm not gonna let you die. That was hot. No. Oh yeah, that stuff's hot, for sure. Can I just water? When EMS is bringing water, I don't have any water no, to no, give you. No, EMS, I need water right now. I don't have water to give you. They got water in there! Help me! 
Don't run up on me. You want me to die? You want me to die? Give me some water, bro. Please, water. Up here. Some water. You want to jump up like that? You can sit no, back there. I, I just want some water, please. Here, I'll go around pulling out. Just hold it. No, I don't, I don't, I don't. Uh, I'll tell you this, you start banging my cage or kicking my door, you're gonna get sprayed again. I'm not the water line. Uh -uh. I'm suffering, bro. I know it. Listen, tough. man. I'm suffering, bro. You EMS is want coming. Don't kill me. No. Please don't kill me. We're not. I know it sucks. But EMS is coming. I feel like I'm dying. It's not a good feeling. Hey, before you step out, you and I need to come to an understanding. Alright? These guys that are helping you are medics, they're not cops. I know you don't really like us right now, but if you do anything to hurt one of my medics, it's gonna be a bad day for you. All right, step on out. Get it all in your face, where's it at? In my eyes, I'm everything. All right, we'll try to wipe it off with a towel, okay? <clears throat> the officer returned to the room and proceeded to conduct a search. During the search, the officer found an AK-47 lying on the bed. Subsequently, the officer contacted dispatch to inquire whether the individual was a felon. Following confirmation, the man was transported to jail. We uh, just arrested this guy out of this hotel room for CT. He gave us permission to come back in his room to get his phone and his wallet. There is an AK laying on the bed. Um, I kind of need some guidance on this one. Uh, that subject that's in custody, he wouldn't happen to be a uh, felon, would he? The man once more grew agitated in the jail when he attempted to become physically aggressive again, but an officer promptly intervened, and multiple officers soon escorted him to a cell. Go sit down till they tell you to. Come on. You can just look at me all you want. Bitch ass off. Right, so he's not happy. I'm nothing with nothing. Nothing. So you're gonna answer your questions. I'm nothing. As me. I'm nothing. No, you don't hear from that. I said I'm nothing. Stop around me. Yeah, I don't deserve to be here. He around me. Okay, but that's him, not I'm us. I'm nothing. Nothing. And he got sprayed. Not by me. So I got sprayed too. He got sprayed. My partner sprayed him while I was about six inches from his face. I got to say, I said, yeah, no. Say it, I don't I don't even I don't even do He just started acting like this a couple minutes ago.
The man faced charges of resisting arrest without violence and criminal trespass. On September 8, 2023, in Illinois, according to a search warrant, law enforcement raided the residence of this gummy seller. Multiple police officers entered Josh's house with the search warrant and found him alone inside. They wasted no time in handcuffing him, bringing him to the middle room and making him sit in a chair. They then informed him of the search warrant. Josh and the officers briefly discussed competition shooting. Anyone else? That one home? lethal? No. no one else home? No one else home. Alright, we got four of us in here. Alright. Okay. Doug, you can do this. Stand up. Sir, I'm just going to keep your hands up, okay? No problem. Appreciate it. We're going to cuff you and secure yes, you for now. We'll talk to you in a little bit, okay? You said no one else was home? No one else is here. Okay, let's walk him out. There's a chair in the middle of the kitchen. You can sit there. No problem. Yeah, I just. probably a rude awakening you'll get some explanations here in just a little bit obviously we do have a search warrant for the house obviously <laughs> uh, we just <laughs> randomly picked your house yeah but we just you know we, all right we have copies of that paperwork that'll get again all I, do, I don't well. i don't fight with I'm, i do composition shooting i don't fight with people with guns especially police officers mm, thank you for that I, we, yeah, no, no we definitely I, appreciate that i'm not that. here to get in your guys's way at all i just don't I have no idea what's going on three gun I'm sorry? Three gun or I got a uh, target? I, I do a no I do a, I have a Shadow Systems MR920. Okay. Um and then I have just an AR fifteen that I picked up many years ago. Um, when I lived in Vegas. I don't get to use it much these days, but yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do a little bit of competition shooting myself mostly just The officers proceeded to read Josh his Miranda rights. He was then transported to the station where he was temporarily held in a cell before being transferred to the county jail. The officers later contacted him and requested access to his electronic devices. That's why it's locked up. So, before we ask any questions in regards to what's going on, remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you are being questioned. Cannot afford to hire a lawyer. One will be appointed to represent you before any questioning, if you wish. Do you understand each of those rights as I've explained them to you? Okay. Having that in mind, do you want to talk? No. I have no idea what's going on, so I exercise my right to. If you don't mind. You want to get your t-shirt to put on and be? Um. Yeah, if you don't mind. No. There's a bunch of t-shirts in the um, closet where he's standing. Fat too, so. Out here. All my stuff's over there where that officer is. There's a closet, plenty of t-shirts. I'm sorry, man. I'm exhausted. Okay, Josh, you want to grab your cup and the blanket there? So a blanket will go in that garbage can. It's not actually garbage. It's just to get them washed. Cup we'll put over here. So part of the search warrant included cell phones and electronic devices. We want to try and get your device back to you as soon as possible. So what we'd like to do is ask you for the password so that we don't have to go through a force break on it, which takes some time. Josh declined, stating that the property being searched wasn't his and that he would speak with his lawyer before engaging in any procedures. Subsequently, he was escorted to the police vehicle and transported to jail. Okay, I just want to talk to my lawyer before I do that. Okay, so you want to talk to your this, lawyer before yes. you do that? It's not my house that you had the search warrant for. I know I'm living in the house, well, so I know I'm tied into all this, but I still want to uh, know. I want to talk to my lawyer okay. before I give that information out. You, I hope you can understand. <laughs> A little bit better with two pairs of cups yeah, back there. I really appreciate that, sir. Okay. Yeah, just continue to be cool with me. Like I said, I'll be cool with you. Okay, boss? Cool with the stuff in the front seat? Yeah. yeah. 
see you after I'm Chris Lake 701. I will be transporting the J3 from the drug's arrest to county. They have been advised. Finally, the officer escorted Josh to the jail, where he underwent a search before being placed in a cell. All weapons and ammo are secure. Yep. Heard the beep and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Know what you're gonna ask. Hey, Chris, I can't see you. Didn't have much. Oh, yeah. Josh faced charges for possessing and selling contraband. Let's build a better community by sharing knowledge and educating about such intriguing cases. Subscribe, like, and share now to support our channel. Thank you very much.